It's time for your morning rush. Everything you need to know before you head out the door. First, Kershaw deputies are going to continue searching this morning for a missing man, and they say they really need your help to find him. Here's his picture. His name is Paul Dollarhide, and he was last seen at about noon on Sunday when he was heading to a store near his home, but his family said he never came back, and he hasn't been heard from since. So we're told that he has health issues, and he does need some medication. If you think you have seen him since Sunday, please call one Blake Crime SC. Well, in your news from Capitol Hill, Robert Mueller will be answering questions about the Russia investigation for the first time today before two House committees. The former special counsel will sit next to his top aide during the hearings, but the committees have decided they do not want the aide to answer any questions. The chair of the Intelligence Committee has urged Mueller to speak his mind after the DOJ asked Mueller to only speak about what's in his 448-page report. Well, new rules about food stamps could remove more than 3 million people from that federal program. The plan by the USAG department would eliminate automatic enrollment in food stamps for families who already receive welfare benefits. The proposed rule comes at a time when overall enrollment is dropping in food stamps. However, uh, hunger advocates say that if the proposal becomes policy, it would really hurt the poorest working Americans. Well, we are getting a first look at the state's new voting system as county employees begin their training with the equipment. The new voting machines will use touch screens, a printed paper ballot, and a ballot scanner. Voters will select their candidates on new updated touch screens. After finalizing their choices, it will print a paper ballot with a barcode. Voters will then need to double check their ballot and place it into a scanner. The scanner takes an image of the ballot, counts it, and keeps the paper ballot in a locked ballot box. The new machines will be in place statewide for the Democratic presidential primary on February 29th of next year.